Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first edition of the inaugural Smashies here at Super Smash Con 2017. And my name is Coney, and uh, the Smash Brothers series over the past 18 years has touched the lives of millions of players worldwide, thousands of competitors and spectators all over the world. But I would say its effect is felt no greater than in the hundreds in attendance right now here at Super Smash Con. And, and really, it, it doesn't matter what game you play across all the games. Smash 64 has seen the greatest renaissance we've seen in quite some time. And uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee has really grown and thrived as a bona fide esport in recent years. And Super Smash Brothers for Wii U is introduced the Smash formula to a new generation and audience of players. And Brawl happened too. Each of these entries provide a new and distinct take on the Smash formula. But each one provides and offers that unmistakable Smash experience. And tonight, our goal is to come together as a community to unify and celebrate our brightest stars and our greatest moments over the past year. And, that, and, and that's enough out of me. That's all I had to say. You guys ready to get started? That's awesome. All right, let's go. Please enjoy this clip. A wise, wise, wise man once said, Thou shalt not sleep on the kid. <laughs> That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it. And Mango! And Mango wins! Generally, champions are not really about who wins, because a champion isn't really someone who's never lost. It's more so about somebody who can consistently rose against the odds to achieve glory. That's laggy! That's laggy! Is that a zero? Who is the best Kataro? Who is the best? Who is the best? You tell me! Zero! I want you to hear this. I want you to hear the amount of people who support this league, the amount of people who want this to be a lifestyle for people. This is not just a video game. This is a lifestyle! All right?
beat the numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present our first award for best doubles team for Smash 64, please welcome Dark Horse and Jimmy Joe. That's good. Uh, bumps. There we go. Chris, <laughs> good to see you. Yeah, we. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, <laughs> except for like the last six hours we spent doing commentary. Well, you guys, uh, you guys know. No matter what Smash game you're playing, doubles is an amazing thing that promotes soft focus, teamwork, the ability to keep track of a lot of characters at once. Usually, a lot of them are Pikachu or, or just Pikachu. <laughs> so, we're up here presenting the award for best team in 64, and there's been quite a few. So let's look at them. Let's check out these nominees. Reaching in my pocket here. <laughs> and the best doubles team is Team Mayhor, Super Boom Band, and Jaime HR. Check, check, one, two, three. Oh, I'm, I can hear myself. All right, Jaime and I. Oh, oh, okay. Here. <laughs> All right, the mic's a little hard to control, but uh, I think we, you know. Okay, how about you hold it and I'll, you know, I'll talk into it. Yeah. Team, teams. Yeah, let's do it to teams. Okay. Let's go, team. All right, so the first time we teamed, when was it? 2004? Yeah, around 2004. Two. Oh, you want uh, to take it? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how this works, sorry. <laughs> oh, that, that's better. So, we started teaming, I think, around 2004. Uh, we made on playing online on Calera. Maybe not a lot of people might be familiar with that. Online play, online play. Yeah. <laughs> so we it kind of just it kind of just happened, like, you know. It's like we were like, uh, we, ch we should just uh, play some teams, maybe fun. And we started playing teams, and and I think it was first um, team attack off. <laughs> I, I, and we went the double Mario against everyone, and, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, double Mario and Hyrule, team attack off. That was the prime time of 64, I think. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for the award. <laughs> A couple of stage naturals, those two, yeah. 
All right, guys, so coming up next, we are going to present the award for the most improved player for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Please welcome Swar and EE. -E. We don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna pretend, all right? Yeah, man, I mean, they kind of told me last minute I'm pretty good at winging things, so uh, I got the trophy in hand. No, 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 he did not. He did not. We're here to present the most improved Smash Brothers Wii U player since last year. Is that you? That is not me. Okay, thank you. Anyways, a lot has happened this year. PGR this, PGR that, a lot has happened, even at today. But right now, we're going to talk about the most improved Smash Brothers Wii U player, and we're going to take a look at these nominations. Oh, we're going to see the whole time. Why not? Give me the look. There you go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Fantasy. Four throws. How many hey, hey, hey. There it is! Zero, your time is done! Oh, I yes. knew it! You yes. are dead! Man, yeah, I cannot believe it. that. Tweet, take it. Yikes. All right, relax. So, the winner for the most improved Smash Brothers Wii U. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You oh, want? Hold on. Salem! <laughs> didn't expect to get this. Like winning tournaments, I don't expect to win too much because my mentality for games in general is like, I'm gonna lose, I'm always gonna lose. It's a negative mentality, but it works for me. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of unique in that way. Evo 2017, but I think that's his greatest honor. I'm sure he's very proud about that, so there you go. All right, guys, now to present the award for greatest comeback in Melee, please welcome Fendrick Lamar and Tafokin. Hey, hey, Fendi, are we at an award show right now? So we very clearly missed the dress code. Um, so we apologize for that. But it's not about the outside. It's about the inside and the inner drive to win, even in the face of the worst odds. And so, you know, we've had a lot of great comebacks in Melee this year. And we're excited to see who takes this one home. The nominees are? And the nominees are? And the nominees are... If he 
gets one good link oh, to a knee. Oh! And the winner for best melee comeback is... Mango at Royal Flush versus Armada. I actually didn't think I'd win that one. I swear if I don't win best pop-off, um, I'm gonna be really upset. Because they're making me wait to the end and I'm really hungry. So if I don't win best pop-off, I'm gonna be really mad. Coming up next, we have our best taunt slash saltiest moment of the year. And that could be a uh, that could be quite a thing. So, to present this award, please welcome Champ and Vish. <laughs> All right. So for this award, being from SoCal. We have a lot of homegrown salty moments in SoCal. SoCal is, you know, known for the saltiness. And look, if you've been in the competitive scene at all, you know what it's like to be salty. Have you been wobbled? Have you been back throw shine? Oh my goodness, we've all been there, but these guys have taken it to the next level. Let's see who our nominees are for saltiest moment. He just kept his composure, just like when he composes music. Ooh. Hella stats. Is he leaving? Yeah, none left. Look at Hazu against the corner. That could be a regress no! situation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do your dance on him. Zach actually making short work of him. Zach had his hands up for a handshake. Como Rikiri just walked right by. Yeah. Yeah. He killed himself yeah. after? Yeah. Oh, and then he did. Oh, wow. Wow. Now I want to end him. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, man. All right. So, before I say it, I just got to say, how is Como in two clips of those things? <laughs> Somebody save him. So the saltiest moment is... <laughs> Captain Zack beating Como at Genesis 4. Point nine. <laughs> so Cap. Where you at, Zach? <laughs> Making it easy. Yeah. 
Dude's a natural, Jesus. All right, all right, all right, all right. To present the award for best combo for Wii U, please welcome Swar and back to the stage, Champ. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and look at the nominations for best combo for Smash Brothers Wii U. at such an elevated level of precision, man. What is happening? I don't think Zero had any no. kind of answers. Oh my lord! Is it oh! oh. Just a shot, though. I actually don't. Oh, hold up. Uh, no way. Oh my god! 53%?! Bro, that setup was lit. Right that was a doozy. Yeah, those are some legit combos. Yeah, they, they, not all were true, but we're gonna get to what is true right now. And that's who got best combo for Smash Brothers Wii U. We got Fatality at MoboCon 2017 against Zero! Shout out to my original Smash hero for bringing me into Smash in the first place. Isaiah, I know where you are. You're somewhere in this building. You're my hero, and I've always wanted to model myself after you in my gameplay. <laughs> Otherwise, I've always wanted to try and move closer to like a people's champ type of player. I mean, I'm not going to try and say I'm anything, but the closer I can get to that ideal that Isaiah has set out, the better. And if you guys think I'm anywhere close to that, I'm happy. That's all. Thank you, Fatality. And does anybody know what the YP on his jersey stands for? Like, I don't... Oh, pepper... Hold on. Hold it. D1 knows. D1 knows. Yummy pepperonis. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pepperoni. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay. So what's coming up next? To present the award for the best doubles team in Super Smash Brothers Melee, please welcome Fendi and Vish. <laughs> Fendi, I got a question for you. Why does it look like you dressed up for a Skype interview, my man? This is the Smashies! <laughs> I may have been ready for a Skype interview, but you know what I've been telling them about? is my teamwork. Ooh. My ability to mesh with the squad and bring it home for the greater good. Oh, man. And unlike Fendi's wardrobe, we're gonna show you some dope combinations right now. Let's see the nominations!
And the winners are... Drum roll, drum roll please. CLG, Pew Pew U, and S Fat. I have no idea what to say, but uh, thanks for supporting us. We've been teaming for like 11 years right now, going on 11, and we're not stopping, so we see you guys. <laughs> we just want to shout out, you know, our families, the homies, CLG, and every single person who loves and supports teams. Teams! All right, coming up next, we've got a category that really shouldn't even exist. It gets really hard to progress and improve in a game that came out in 1999, but these players have managed to do it. Here to present the award for most improved Smash 64 player, it's Jimmy Joe and Professor Wizard. Yeah, so for most improved 64 player over this past year, we're gonna be looking for that player who has really jumped into that next echelon of players and has shown that they have what it takes to challenge the best in the world. That's right, and not only can these players strike fear into the hearts of those who they're supposed to lose to, but they can inspire us to know that any of us can put in the work and rise to that next level and challenge the gods. So, without further ado, the most improved player this year for Smash 64. Oh, he did. How? Hey! He was my he it! Oh my goodness! Oh! Back here is gonna take it zero, two, oh, does three more. No, it's best of five. Three, three one. one. Yep. What's he gonna do? He goes for the land. Back there, he right one. takes it. Game five, all the way to the end. And the most improved 64 player is... Dexter! This is going to be quick, so this is just the beginning for me. And I'm going to become the best in the world. So, thank you. It almost sounds insulting, like when I get back here and then it stops. All right, so to make a comeback in a game like Super Smash Bros. for Wii U is kind of common. It's a two-stock game, so with the volatility and the rage, it's something that happens a lot. So for these nominees to stand out, something special must have really happened. So to present the award for the best comeback in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, please welcome... 
best combo. Or no, yeah, it's best comeback. What am I saying? I heard stuff on the ground. Best comeback for Smash Wii U. Please welcome E.E. E. and Swar. So this award right here really represents, you know, somebody's grit and determination. You know, the, even when the chips are down, still able to get the job done. They did some wild stuff, all right, in just like closing a stock, but you know, it, it's hype. It is pretty hype. And without further ado, we'll take a look at the nominees. Home run out the park, knocking it away. Nara with the 3 0 comeback. It's still not over. I've seen Boyd SD even there. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God! Oh my goodness! Are you serious? What did I just see? Good selections. Let's take a look at who's got it. All right. Well, since he's coming back to the stage, best comeback, Wii U Fatality. <laughs> to say other than I didn't expect to get anything else at all, but I mean, this is nice, I guess. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Coming up next to present the award for best combo in Smash 64, please welcome Dark Horse and Professor Wizard. So in the 64 community, we have these things that some of you players of other games might have heard of before. Uh, they're called combos. You say and the nominees are. And we'll kick it off to the highlights. This is big. This might be it. This is the winning match, God. Oh, oh my God! Bear can kill Croc. A bear can drop up to snare. Sweet reverse bear to drop. Oh! Oh, oh that fastball nair and should pivot up till. Give it up to him to get the combo! Oh the Isaiah is back! Uh, And the winner is Isaiah and Beast. Sorry, 
Sorry guys, Isaiah is not here, but to accept on his behalf, we have the one and only, the man, Justin. Also, uh, I heard Isaiah is just back there playing Melee. <laughs> we'll deliver the two, this to him very shortly. But uh, let's hear it for him, as if it was him instead of me. Isaiah! <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick eight-minute intermission. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this small break.
Test, test, one, two, test, test. Are we good? All right, we're back. Are you guys ready for some more Smashies? All right, guys, so coming up next, we've got the most improved player in Melee. Please welcome to the stage, Tafo and Vish. I actually feel really bad presenting this award because there are already people younger than us that have been playing Melee for a short period of time and they're already better than us, Vish. Dude, as a wise man once said, been here 10 years, still irrelevant. Ah. Well, any anyway, we're here to present the nominees for Most Improved Player in Melee. The winner for the most improved player in Melee is... <laughs> Liquid Chudat! Shout out everybody that checks out my stream at True That. Check it out on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. You already know my ice climbers are amazing. If you get grabbed, you'll die. Yeah, yes. And now to present the award for my favorite award, best commentary moment, please welcome back to the stage, Tafo and Swar. Yeah, sometimes in Melee, or all Smash commentary, you just let loose and something unexpected happens when you see unexpected or great gameplay. Yeah, some of the wildest moments have been caught by commentators and we really gotta just like shout them out for a second because they put in the hours and they put in the energy to bring us the hypest moments. And today, we have the best commentary moment. Let's take a look at the nominations. So, 
It's tough, I can't believe he did that. But anyways, best commentary moment. Oh, this is a first. We got the Blast Zone crew, the Coney time moment with EE -E and TK. <laughs> So who gets to keep it? Like you had the throw. Oh, you're gonna do this one? Oh, okay. All right, I'm not gonna keep it because I'm dipping, so y'all can just trade it like back and forth through houses. Uh, but I like to thank uh, Express for great ties. I like to thank Gravity for holding me down, obviously. Uh, I like to thank SmashCon for hiring us that year for the like that was for, like the first real time that we did um, like a like a tricast that like took off. So that was dope and. Uh, I like to thank EE for not having a real tie on. That's the only reason I threw mine. So, <laughs> thanks, bro. All right, real talk. I want to thank God. You know what I mean? Real talk, my mama. I know she's watching right now. And of course, these two gentlemen to my left. Left. Incredible talent right here. We're going to kill it tomorrow for you guys. And guess what? We're going to be up here next year. Real talk. Well deserved. <laughs> Coming up next, we have the award for Best Comeback 64. Please welcome to the stage, Jimmy Joe and Dark Horse. So there are some matches where you're playing, you're feeling good, everything's going great. You have a lead. And then everything just starts to crumble and fall through your fingers, and it feels terrible. <laughs> yeah, but for the other guy, <laughs> it feels pretty good. So here are the nominations for Best Comeback for Nintendo 64. They always bring it out right then. The three to one comeback. Three rests in a row. Back there, he takes it. Game five. All the way to the end. Murray Watts takes his first major by beating Isaiah twice. Four! Oh, yes. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What era? What era? He steals it! He steals it from Dexter! He steals it at the last second! And the winner is Wangara at SmashCon 2016. Arigato gozaimasu. guys are working out over here. These poor guys don't get a break. All right, so now to present the award for best doubles team in Wii U, please welcome EE -E and Champ. All right, <laughs> so doubles, uh, this is for best doubles team, and the cool thing about doubles is that it's all about synergy and combos and such. Sometimes the two best players doesn't make the best team. Sometimes it's just, they just had that connection. Yeah, man, a lot of uh, talented doubles team in Smash 4, you know what I mean? But there could only be uh, one winner, and we have some nominees for you right now. Take a look at it.
and still gets that one. Oh my, yep. look at the way he's, getting, he's leaving these heels in and out Tell of actually that. fighting. Wow. What? It's got it. Not, not with a zero percent zero. That's gonna be the really rough part. Limit on time. My God, that hard. Yeah, we're nine from Rick Fury waiting to leave. And there it is. And PG Eason, PG MVD, go to losing finals. Wrap it up. All right, a lot of good selections right there, but without further ado, your winner is... Oh, okay. What the, just, <laughs> All right, it is MK, Leo, and Javi. I don't know what, what to say, but uh, I mean, Javi will be so happy with this. This means too much to us. We play double since we have like seven years. So we are like brothers and thank you. I want to keep the energy in the room hot. I want to keep you guys amped up enough. Are you ready for the next last two awards? All right, night is coming to a close, but now to present the award for best combo in Super Smash Brothers Melee, please welcome to the stage Fendi and Tafo. All right, so as Coney said, we're getting down to the end of it. Um, we've had a lot of great combinations of, of hosters and winners and nominees. Uh, the last one here, we got best combo in Melee, and there's a lot of great nominees, Tafo. Yeah, uh, we had a lot of sick team combos and just individual combos. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we show on stream right now. And the nominees for best Melee combo are... His reaction timing is definitely on point. That blue light oh, special, oh, 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 oh my goodness. He's gonna do it again. Oh, 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 oh. Wow! And the winner is Armada and Android from Beast. First and foremost, I would like to thank everybody for loving teams. I feel like teams doesn't get enough representation in the Smash community, and I feel 
that it's about time we finally got some recognition for it. So thank you everybody for giving me and my brother recognition for this, for this trophy, for this award. It means a lot to us from Sweden and thank you. And we've come to our final award of the night, everyone. We have two presenters on stage. One of them just loved the Smashies experience so much that he wanted to become a part of it. See if you can tell which one he is. Uh, please help me in welcoming to the stage Fendi and Hungrybox. It's funny that he just comes up here and he already looks better than I do, so he's already winning on that front. Congratulations, Hungrybox. <laughs> Thank you very much. A pop-off is a very mystical, beautiful thing. Wait. It's the outpour emotion after a tight set, and it's a very easy way to damage CRTs. So the nominees for best pop-off are... He's done it. Esam pops off. Esam has defeated Ally, destroyed his demon, and ended the civil war. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Mango. Mango wins. Let's go. Mango. It's oh. over. It's over. He, he was playing as perfect as he could, but he just could not put enough damage out there. He could not avoid the grab long enough. You knew it was coming. And Hungry Box. Holy cow. Wait, holy cow. That yeah. was Winter's Finals. Yes. Oh my god, he's going to break the TV. <laughs> pop off of the situation. And the smash he goes to the champion of the people himself, Esam! So first off, all the pop-offs are pretty good, just gonna say that. But, you know, as Hungrybox touched on, pop-offs are like the outpouring of emotion when something amazing happens, and that emotion is what can drive any single person that is watching this either here or on stream, you know, we don't, you know, just come watch tournaments, man. Uh, you know, any of us can do amazing things, whether you're, you know, popping off because you won your first local, or you did pretty well, or you beat your bracket demon, that maybe lived down the street. Anything that you can do I mean, deserves a pop-off, and, you know, let's go! All right, guys, and with that, we're going to conclude the Smashies for this year. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Fatality's waving. Both of us things they are. Guys, we had nothing scripted for this ending. I just wanted to thank each and every one of you that stayed up late, that stuck around for the Smashies, really, from the bottom of our hearts. It means a lot. Can I get a round of applause for Sage, for Gimmer, for Vincent, for everyone in the back that has been working tirelessly all weekend to bring nonstop Smash content to you guys? Can I get a round of applause for Kyle Thane, Dance Party? Triforce Quartet! And for all these presenters now joining me on stage, Swar, Hbox, Tafo, Vish, everybody, guys, thank you for joining us for the Smashies. We'll see you next year. Good night!
champion. Oh, bro. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Zero takes it. Congratulations to Zero. Congratulations. TSM's own yet again taking another huge tournament despite getting cool. Job right there by zero, not dropping one set. This man remains undefeated. I don't know how this thing. This is so high.